Now back to Blake Shelton fighting back against In Touch Weekly, an article in the magazine alleging that the country star was a binge drinker and hinting the reason he broke up with his former wife, Miranda Lambert. ABC's Lindsay Davis has more details. The more I drink, the more He's top charts for more than a decade with songs like The More I Drink and Sangria. Tastes like sangria. Now Blake Shelton is fighting back against allegations by In Touch magazine that he has a drinking problem and that it destroyed his marriage to Miranda Lambert. In a sworn declaration filed Wednesday as part of the lawsuit for libel and false light invasion of privacy, Shelton says the September 2015 cover story titled Rehab for Blake is totally false, saying he has never been to rehab or hit rock bottom, as the article's headlines describe. In Touch also claims Shelton's drinking and womanizing are what helped torpedo his four-year marriage to Miranda. I don't want to go home. Detailing an alleged affair with several women in their Tennessee home, Shelton denies the accusation, saying, my ex-wife Miranda Lambert did not catch me with a bunch of naked women. According to the magazine, Shelton even drinks while taping The Voice. What? But he says in this sworn declaration, he is never drunk on the show. But In Touch argues the Grammy-nominated singer has staked his reputation on heavy drinking, citing his many tweets where he jokes about it, like going out to dinner, drunk, and just spent two days filming The Voice season eight, drunk. Shelton writes in the sworn declaration that drinking or comments about drinking is part of my shtick with my fans, part of my act, part of my performance, but in no way indicates that I have an actual problem with alcohol. So the publishing companies arguing we couldn't possibly be damaging your reputation because you've built a reputation on being drunk. In Touch wouldn't comment on the lawsuit, but in court documents obtained by ABC News, lawyers for the publication say it exercised its free speech rights concerning a matter of public interest and that the editors spoke to sources who confirmed friends were urging Shelton to seek help. Shelton reps say the story was categorically false and that Blake said enough is enough and decided to fight back. We did reach out to representatives from Miranda Lambert as well, but did not hear back. It seems like the dangerous thing here is that he does have all these texts saying that he's so drunk repeatedly. Mm. We'll see what that Hard means. Hard to win a suit like that, yes. yeah. Well. yeah.